Hey everyone, Keith here, Tips and Tricks HQ. In this video tutorial, I'm going to talk about um, using the debugging tool for WPE Store. Now, if transactions aren't happening the way they're supposed to, um, if the post payment processing isn't working, then this is when you would turn on the debugging tool and see what's going on. All right. Before that, though, this um, I'm going to go through a little bit. I have a little housekeeping checklist here. First of all, you want to make sure that your IPN, your instant payment notifications are turned on in your PayPal account. And you can do that really quickly. You go over to you log in your PayPal account, click on profile, my selling tools, instant payment notifications, then you'll see an update link on the right side and just check and see if it's enabled. And you'll see a notification URL if that's that might be set up for another website for example, and that's okay. It doesn't matter what's in there because WPE store will actually override that value, so that's irrelevant. And then you want to make sure that your website's public, publicly accessible. I know a lot of people, when they test their websites, they want to lock it down, password protect it, some maintenance plugins on it, but it needs to be publicly accessible in order for PayPal's instant payment notification to work. And PayPal's instant payment notification needs to work in order to do the post payment processing. So just make sure everything's publicly accessible. You're not testing it on a local server. Um, make sure you didn't password protect the entire site in HD access, for example. Disable those maintenance plugins. And just make sure there's no other versions of the WPE Store plugin. Um, even if they're not activated, they could cause problems if they're in, inside the folder for, um, for WPE Store. So, in your plugins folder on your WordPress and stuff. Just make sure there's no other versions in there. Just download them to your computer and delete them from that uh, from that location. Now, if next thing you want to do is you want to turn on debugging. So you go to WPE Store, then Settings, then General Settings, and then right at the bottom, you turn it on. Enable Debug. All right, then you click on Update Options. And now, just to make sure that you're getting um, fresh data. You could look at the timestamps of the log files to see, you know, if it's today's test or the test that you just performed, because there's um, date and timestamps in the log file. But it's probably best to reset the log files just to get to make sure you have um, fresh data. So I'll click that button, and then it says here debug debug log files have been reset. So you're good. Now one last thing to check here. Um, we're in the settings, general settings again. There's a option here for post payment processing. So just make sure that's on. And so just make sure there's a checkbox in there. And then click on update options. All right, so now we got debug enabled. Let's just make sure that the log files are writable. And a quick test for that, um, it shows in the forum here. You can grab whatever your site.com and then just to this path here. If you go to that location. So let's go to that location on, on my test site here. Then it'll tell you, yep, debug is enabled. And then you can check the log file to make sure that there's output in there. So we'll do that now. We'll go back to general settings. We'll scroll all the way down. and then we'll download the log file. You can't open, maybe in your browser it'll work, but if you open the log file, it won't output anything. Even if you view source, it might indicate, it might look like there's nothing there. So what you wanna do is download the file right to your computer. So I'll put it on my desktop and then I'll open it up. All right, so we see Oh, okay, it wrote to it saying it was reset, and then there was a success message for that quick test that we did when I visited that URL. Okay, so let's reset them again. And then now we'll go through a payment just to make sure everything works. So what I did is um, in my payment gateway settings, I used a friend's PayPal email address so that she's going to receive the payments and I'm going to process the payment from my own account 
Um, so that's one way that you can go about it without having to do a sandbox account. And I just created a product that's um, that costs a penny. And to keep it really simple, I have the shopping cart on the same page. So what I'm going to do is just add this product to the cart and then go through the payment. Okay, so it's in there. It costs a penny. I'm going to check out. All right. So the payment has been processed. Now what I can do is open up the log files and make sure everything is good. Okay, scroll all the way to the bottom of the setting, the general settings page for WP eStore, and then just download the files. Now it depends on what you are testing. Um, in this case, these two log files will probably contain data. Okay, so click on save, right click, save link as. I already have a file there, so it's gonna append one to it. And I'll download this one. Okay, so I see some success messages and everything's um, working as as it should. Now, if you see any fails at all, um, see if you can determine what it is. It, um, it, it might be obvious based on the message, but if you have tr troubles, you can just um, paste your log files into the tips and tricks forum for more help. Okay, let's take a look at this one and see if everything's good. Yes, so everything's set up proper. All right. Now there's one last thing I wanted to mention here. If your log files weren't writable, what you can do is um, browse to them in, through FTP. Then go to the WP cart for digital products folder and then scroll down to the bottom and you'll see the log files in there. All right, so what you wanna do is right click, click on file permissions and then just make sure they're set for 644. All right, so that's it. Um, Again, this is Keith from Tips and Tricks HQ. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a great day.